What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we are taking a look at the essence transfer, why it is important, the guide pretty much, our essence transfer guide. Before we get started, make sure you guys and girls subscribe to the channel, more blah, 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 thumbs up this video, you know that good stuff. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to go to West March. This is our main place of business. This is where you'll find all of your NPCs to do various different things. Essence transfer looks literally like a little uh, essence flame kind of. So we're going to head on over there real quick. Now, what the essence transfer does is let's say I get a legendary item and it has a specific legendary effect on it. Uh, but maybe it's really good, uh, but it's a low level uh, item, right? So you can have like a legendary item and it might be only like a level 30. And then later in the game, you may get a level 45, level 55 item, uh, but it's got a crap legendary effect. Like it's a, it's a skill that you don't even use. So what essence transfer does is it actually lets you take the legendary effect from one legendary item and transfer it over to a different legendary item so that's why anytime you get a legendary item even if it's a low level it doesn't matter it, just keep it because you got to look at the legendary effect uh, i would keep all of my legendary items even if it may not be an effect that i'm looking for put it away put it in your stash because you never know when the skill builds can change the meta could change you might not particularly like this so-called best skill build and you might want to experiment and you may find an even better build out there and it so happens to need that one legendary effect that nobody else is using, but you have it on one of your uh, low level legendary equipment pieces. And then you could transfer it over. So it's very, very important to uh, just keep that in mind. And I'm gonna show you a pretty simple example. So if it's grayed out, it basically means you don't have that piece. Uh, and another thing that I also have to mention is if you don't physically have the legendary item on you, you can't do this extraction. So let's say you go and you put all of your legendary pieces of gear in your storage. Uh, you need to take them out of storage before you come to the essence transfer to extract them. So we're going to go through here and you're going to notice that I have this one in particular chest piece and uh, it'll tell you the required materials and it does cost 3000 gold, which isn't that bad. But what you can do is you just click on it and then it'll say extract. And what we'll do is we'll click extract for video purposes and then bam, you will have now extracted this legendary effect. And then if you wanna put that on one of your higher pieces of legendary gear, whatever it may be, you're gonna go to inherit. We then have to select the essence that we want to inherit onto our new piece of gear. And then once we inherit it, it does not cost any gold to inherit, which is good. And then you will notice your new piece of gear that has the inherited legendary effect now we'll show the little uh, essence fire emblem in the top right corner. You don't have this unlocked right away. Uh, like many things in the game, you will unlock additional features as you go throughout the game. So again, just keep that in mind. There's some things that you may see on my screen that you do not have unlocked when you're first starting this out. But I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. I love you guys. Stay happy, stay safe. We got a snow blizzard today. Uh, peace.